Hi everyone, this is UK Manic Luma and I'm here with one of the looming artists aka Dreamy Out Loud nine pin wide designs and this one is called Sunset Strip and let me just pull this up on my computer for you and get it with glare, there you go so that's her rendition she's got another one on there as well Let's see if I can just scroll it's not that one there you go and that's the other one of hers and I did one as my practice run and you may have seen it on Rainbow Lou as well as our own Facebook page now and that's the rendition I did to practice and just to show you here I'm going to try and show you the colour steps on this one here okay so let's get looming zoom out for you. First of all we're going to start the setup and we're going to go first pin bar directly across, diagonally down, directly across and diagonally down to the middle pin. Then we're going to go diagonally up, directly across, diagonally up and directly across. Like I always say with a nine pin bar design make sure you brace up to the best of your abilities this does have a fair amount of tension on it, okay? So go ahead and do that and be right back. Okay, let's go on with the border and the first bands we'll be laying are this, uh, what's it called, Freedom Red, well then dual layer bands on there. And that's the first one we'll be laying now, okay. So what I'm going to be using is these gorgeous hot pink and blue pearl bands and we're just going to follow the first pin of every pin bar. I'm going to take it up the first pin bar and the ninth pin bar and then we are going to mirror image this start for the closing. Okay, so that's fairly straight uh, forward. So you go ahead and get that border done and I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay, I'm back and the next step is going to be laying some seven configuration patterns. So let me just zoom in a little bit for you. And for this I'm going to be using the Sunkiss Persian. And on this rendition, it's these black bands that go over the top of the Freedom red bands. And that's the signature side, I believe, but that's the reverse side. So that would be what these black bands are here. Okay, right. Let's get going. First pin bar, first pin, and we're going to go diagonally up and inwards. And from where we just went off, we're going to go across and out. And then we're just going to repeat that pattern all the way up. So diagonally up and inwards and across and out, or across and in, whichever way you lay your bands. And I'll just do that one more time on that side. And then we're going to go on the ninth pin bar. And as always, we're doing the mirror image. So we're going to go diagonally up and inwards, and then across and out up and inwards, across and out, up and inwards, and then across and out. So go ahead, finish that off, and when I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and the next step we're going to be doing is just two simple lines on the second pin bar and the eighth pin bar. I'll bring back the rendition. And on here, these are the fire truck red bands that you can see just about there. And if I flip it over, you can just see them here between the oranges. So for this one, I'm going to be using the lava Persian bands. And like I said, it's just the second pin bar and it's going all the way up. And 
the eighth pin bar. So you go ahead and get that done and then we'll move on. Okay I'm back and the next placement we're going to be doing is a free band pattern and it is where these orange, I'm going to say tropical, um, mixed dual layer colours are and if I just rotate it it's those ones there. Okay so for this I'm going to be using one of my favourite bands which is the purple and blue pearl bands and all we need to do is we're going to start on the third pin bar and we're going to go straight forward and then we're going to do a zigzag between the second and third so up and in, up and out and that's our three band placement pattern that we're going to be doing okay zoom in a little bit more for you so you go third pin bar up second to third zigzag, third pin bar up, second to third zigzags okay and then we're going to do the same on the seventh and the eighth so starting on the seventh we're going to go forward, seventh to eighth we're going to go zig and then a zag, then we're going to go forward on the seventh, sorry, oh twisty bands right, there we go, and then we're going to go zigzag between the seventh and the eighth, go up on the seventh, sorry I'm swapping hands around because you can't just see but on this right hand side there's a tripod blocking me from really getting to it so Anyway, we're going to do zig and zag between the 7th and the 8th, okay? So you go ahead and finish that off and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm ready for the next step and what we're going to be doing is a never 7 pattern and for that I'm also going to be bringing in some kiss Persians again and for that placement it is these Freedom Red here and on the back it's those ones okay right so same as the oh, chucked band load of bands all over the floor right anyway it's the same ones as this so we're just going to go from the third pin bar diagonally up and inwards and then third pin bar we're going to go across and meet it and then we're just going to repeat that seventh pattern like so and I'll just do a couple on the other side with you as well so you're going to do the mirror image so you're going to back onto this shape here you're going to do it on the seventh pin bar diagonally up and inwards and then across and out diagonally up and inwards across and out diagonally up and inwards and once more cross and out so, so I'm going to take that pattern all the way to the end of the loom and when you're ready we'll move on right time to move on to the next step and it's going to be two basic straight lines on the fourth pin bar and the sixth and if I just bring this rendition out again it is surprisingly it's these fire truck red bands that we'll see here but on the back it is these fire truck reds that come alongside the black there okay so just bear that in mind when you're choosing this this is going to be the part of your center band on the signature side so I'm going to be pulling out the lava red again and like I said it is the fourth pin bar straight up I don't think you really need me to show you what that is and then the sixth pin bar straight up. So go ahead and get that done and when you're ready we can move on. Alright the next part is a five band placement and I'm going to be using two colours for that. 
And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There you go. Right. Bring out the other rendition. On this, the straightforwards, which will be on the fifth pin bar, is these orange from the Tropical Jewel Layer Packet. And the others are the black penguin bars here. Bars. Bands, even. Okay, and on the opposite side, you can see them a bit more clearer. There's the orange and there's the blacks, okay? Right, so what I'm going to be doing is bringing back my purple and blue pearl bands and the hot pink and ocean blue or whatever it's called bands. It's gorgeous. Right, so fifth pin bar, you go straight forward, just one at a time. And then we're going to make a four way X. So we're going to go fourth pin bar to the center. So we'll do it from the center down, that'll be easier each time. And then center to the right, downwards, to the center, up to the left, up to the right. Okay, so that's your four way X there. And then we're just going to repeat that pattern all the way to the end, so forward one on the fifth pin bar and then going from that fifth pin bar we're going to go diagonally down that way, diagonally down the other way, diagonally up to the left, diagonally up to the right. Then we're going to go forward, I'll do one more and then I'm going to go off and leave you to do it yourself. Okay, so we're going to go diagonally down, diagonally down to the right, diagonally up to the right, da -da 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 -da, one more, and diagonally up to sorry, the left and then the right. Yeah, so that's what you need to do. So straight forward first and then your four way X and take that all the way to the end and I'll meet you back when we're both done. Okay, so it's the final band placing now, and that's just a secondary border which runs along the same way as the first. So I'll just get you started off. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the purple and blue pearl bands for that. And on this rendition I used, you can see it very well, there's the red bands out of the Spiral Galaxy dual layer pack. Okay, so again all you need to do is go one side all the way up to the top following the first pins and up the first pin bar and then mirror image back to the middle and then to the right take it all the way to the ninth bar should be able to do that on your own go all the way to the top and bring it in and meet into the middle and then we'll be back to start looming so be right back okay so I'm back and I've turned the loom around and this is what it should be looking like if you followed along and I have placed my only cap band that we need for this and it's on this center one here let me just zoom in for you just there so I've just popped a triple cap band onto there. Right so the first thing we need to do is just loom out this secondary border that we put on and we go into the cap band, take that top band and take it to the direction it's going, back to itself, all the way until we hit the middle pin on the opposite side. Okay then once we've done that we go back into the cap band take that back to itself and again we're just going to carry that all the way to the ninth pin bar take it all the way to the top and then back into the center here okay so I'm going to go off camera now and finish that off and I'll see you back in a minute okay well I'm back and that is the secondary border all stitched up Next we're going to be doing the centre and it's going to be the 4th, 5th and 6th pin bar bands that we're going to be doing. And we are going to be stitching up these 
straight lines here which are my lava persian my hot pink and ocean pearl bands and my purple and blue bands so there's quite a few um, stitches to do here let me just zoom in so we can get the best look there okay so what we want to do is we're going to go on the fifth pin bar first go into the cat band and we're going to take that band that goes down the center and just bring it back to itself once like so then this four band x we're going to bring them back to themselves starting on the fifth pin bar and working outwards and always on the top band so my top band is here and I'm just going to bring it back to itself try not to there you go and so now we've got them spread out outwards then we're going to go to our fourth pin bar and I'm going to go in and grab that lava red band which is that straightforward line that we did and I'm going to bring it diagonally up and inwards onto that fifth pin bar second peg I'm going to do the exact opposite on this side so sixth pin bar grab that straight line bring it diagonally inwards and onto that fifth pin bar that's the sequence that we've got to do all the way up so we're now fifth pin bar second pin we're going to go in grab that straight forward go into that pin take the 4x band configuration back out to itself starting with the top band and working down And then what we need to do is go to the fourth pin bar, get the lava red band or that straightforward line, whichever colour you have, and bring it diagonally up and inwards to that fifth pin bar. Then we're going to start one more time before I jump off camera and finish this off. We're going to go forward once, take all four bands out Woods. and then bring the fourth pin bar line inwards and then the sixth pin bar line inwards so if you haven't quite got that just rewind back and have another look I'm going to take it to the end and I'll be right back Okay, so now that's this centre part done, it should look like this. Before we move away from the centre part, we're going to be just doing a, um, I believe it's called a roaches stitch, if I remember rightly. And what we need to do is we'll start on the sixth pin bar. It doesn't matter if you do the fourth or the sixth. We're going to go into the four band X's so these were my hot pink and blue pearl bands and if I just tilt it slightly you'll see that the red ones underneath and I'm just grabbing the bottom very very bottom one and I'm going to bring it up and drop it and again I'm going to go to the next one get the bottom band there one that's sitting on top of my red lava and just bring it over and again just that single one and bring it over and drop it like so don't need to do the first one don't need to do the last one just every single one up there in between and of course on the fourth pin bar again if I just tilt it slightly you're grabbing that very bottom band here bringing it up and over then the next one bottom band up and over bottom band up and over so that's really nice and easy to do so I'm going to go off camera now and go all the way to the end and I'll meet you back for the next part okay I'm back and it's time to move on to the next bit and I'm just going to zoom in again to give you the best view I can we're going to be working on these seven stitch bands and they are going to be working on our fourth pin bar 
and our sixth pin bar primarily, stitching outwards on both of them. So what we're going to be doing is going into that fourth pin bar, we're going to grab that diagonal one here and bring it up, back to itself, then we go up one, again working always on the fourth pin bar, grab that top band which is now the across band and bring it out, back into that pin, grab the diagonal, bring it up. Now there's no more bands there so we're going to go up one peg, we're going to go across first and then we're going to go in and grab the diagonal. Okay. So always working from the fourth pin bar and stitching them to themselves on the third pin bar. Then we're going to go on to the sixth pin bar. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to stitch them back to the seventh pin bar. So the diagonal goes diagonally upwards, cross goes across back to itself, then the diagonal, then the cross. Always making sure you take the top band on the sixth pin bar and bring it back to itself. There you go. So I'm going to go off camera now and I'm going to finish that all the way to the end because that's an easy peasy one to do. And um, when you're ready, we'll move on. All right, so I'm back and we are now going to be moving on to the third pin bar going out to the second pin bar and obviously the reverse side we're going to be doing the seventh pin bar working out to the eighth. So let me just position this and zoom in again for you. We're going to go in the third pin bar and we're going to stay along the third pin bar and work out to the second. Okay. So we're going to go in third pin bar, take that top band which is your forward band and then just bring it forward once. Then we're going to go into that pin this twisty bands drive me mad. Go into this pin, grab the next top band which should be going diagonal down to your second pin bar and bring that back to itself and again you want to do that with the next band as well so you're going to bring it back to itself and that's your sequence all the way up. So third pin bar, second pin, we'll grab that last band which is the forward then we'll work into this pin and we'll go diagonally down to the second pin bar, diagonally up to the second pin bar, and then forward. Diagonally down to the second pin bar, diagonally up to the second pin bar, and then of course we'll do the forward. And we'll do the same on this here. So seventh pin bar is going to be our main bar. We're going to go forward once. In that pin we're going to grab the diagonal band that goes downwards which is your top band and then your next ones go diagonally up to your eighth pin bar then forwards go into that one grab that top band which is your diagonal down then your diagonal up and then your straight forward and I'll just do this one more with you so we're going to go in, grab that diagonal band which is your top one going downwards and then your next one and it's going to go up. So repeat that pattern on both sides all the way up. When I'm finished I'll be back. Okay so I'm back and now we're going to be doing the second pin bar and the eighth pin bar and we are going to just do a straight forward, nothing too fancy on this one. So it is literally going in and bringing them back to themselves all the way to the end and then on the 8th pin bar as well. So I don't think you need me to show you all the way up on this so I'm going to jump off and finish this and then we'll move on to the next part. Be right back. Okay so I'm back and just to give you a quick look, this is what your loom should be looking like so far. Now, if I have got it right, we're going to be doing a, with the name, not the move, um, we're doing another roaches stitch. And I'm going to show you on this side first, and I'm just going to bring it in for you. Uh, this one we only brought over the bottom one, 
This time we're going to be bringing two from the bottom over. So I'm going to turn it over. So we're going to between the two reds again. We're going to grab the very two bottom bands here, bring it up and then drop it. Okay. I'm going to do it again. So we'll go bottom two, bring it over and then drop it. I would make sure you hook it underneath this little pin here just to make sure it doesn't pop back off. And again, bottom two bands between the two reds, whatever your straight line was, and you're bringing that over and dropping it like so, okay? And we're gonna do it on this side again. Second pin bar, we're going to go in, grab those two bottom bands there, bring it over, drop it and make sure it goes underneath that pin just so it stays where you want it to. And we'll just do a few more. So we're grabbing it there, bringing it over and dropping it under. Grabbing the two bottom ones, making sure they are the two bottom ones, bringing it up, over and make sure it hooks over there. So do that all the way up the second and the eighth pin bar and when I'm ready we'll move on. Okay so I'm back and I've done the roaches stitch. <laughs> I'm really terrible with names so I'm hoping I got that right. All the way up on my second and my eighth pin bar. Now we just have to do our final stitching which is the border part. So we're going to go into that fifth pin bar and grab the top band which is going to the left in my case and we're just going to bring it back to the third pin bar. I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to grab this diagonal from the second pin bar and bring it up and back to itself and then I'm going to pick back up this border and just go all the way to the opposite side. Okay just like that and now we can start our sequence so I'm going to bring that in again for you to be able to see as clear as possible so we are going to go forward one so we're going to go on top of that diagonal band then we're going to go across we're going to get to the second pin bar straight band that goes across and bring it out all the bands are going outwards from here on then we're going to go in and grab the diagonal. From where the diagonal left off, we're going to go down and grab the border and go up one. Go across, grab that band, bring it back across and out. Go back across, grab the diagonal and bring it up and over. Go back down, grab the straight jump across, grab this band, bring it back to itself, go in again, grab the diagonal and then just grab that straight, do the pattern all the way up to the end until you get to the very last bit and then just bring it in normally like we would have here and what I'll do just to save confusion this time is to go into the eighth pin bar and just bring that diagonal up first of all. Then we're going to go back into the fifth pin bar and just bring that all the way out to the ninth following that first pin bar pins. Oh we see it was going so well. There you go. Okay then. And that band's gone all twisted as well. Fair enough. Right. Then we're going to go forward. One. Go inwards. Grab that band. Go outwards. Go back in there. Grab the diagonal. Bring it up and out. Go back down. Grab the straight forward. Go across. Bring it out. Go in that band again. Pin even. Bring it up and out. Go back down 
and grab the straight forward. So I think you've seen the pattern enough. So just go ahead and go all the way to the end. I'm just not 100% sure if that was all on camera actually. I've just looked up and I've noticed. So I'm going to do one more with you. So we're going to go across, out, up, diagonal, down, and up. So yeah, hopefully it was on camera, but um, just in case it wasn't, obviously just do the opposite to the first side here. So go all the way to the end. I'm not going to show you how to close off the band because I'm pretty sure if you're doing a design like this, you already know how to take the um, bands through and put a C clip on. So I'm going to finish this off now. I'm going to take off my loom and I will pop on just to show you the finishing results. Be right back. Okay, well, I'm all done, and as promised, I've come back to show you the finishing look. I have spent a little bit of time off camera sorting out the bands so I can show you to the best of the design and let's see if it's going to focus in for me. Ah, there you go. So, this is what I believe is the signature side because of the frills down here, and it is a very beautiful, striking design indeed. And this is the reverse, which I think is also very striking, especially with this colour choice. I wasn't too sure, to be honest. I just wanted to choose a few colours that stood out from each other, just so that you could see it more clearly on the loom. But they two actually work really well together, so I'm very pleased with that. Okay, let's do the wrist test. So, there you go. That is the wrist test, and it is two full loom lengths long. I have slightly wider wrists than normal, um, but you should know how many pins you normally go up for your length, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up for you. This design is called the Sunset Strip Bracelet. It was designed by the talented the Looming Artist on Instagram, formerly known as Dreaming Out Loud, and of course, tutorialised by me, UK Manic Luma. Um, details are in the description box below if you want to follow us. Also, please, 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 hashtag this design. Hashtag details are below in the description box as well, but it should be hashtag sunset strip bracelet, all one word and that way we can all see the collective renditions and get some inspiration off each other, which is what we always want in the Looming community. Um, also, you can follow me, the UK Manic Loomer, on our Facebook page now, which is www.facebook.com uh, UK Manic Loomers. <laughs> And again, that's in the description box below. It's really late, so my brain is just, I think it's fizzling out right now. <laughs> so uh, yes, definitely should say, wrap this all up. And um, thank you very much for letting me do this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope that you managed to understand all my instructions. I would really, really love it if you could give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and possibly a little comment below as well. Just let me know whether you loved it or not. Um, anything possibly that you'd like to see improving on. Okay, so from the UK, bye.